Okay, a quick update on my drip irrigation, my vegetable garden. And uh, I guess I'll start with the with these sprayers. Uh, this one is the is kind of a almost a full circle, not really quite. It sprays out of both directions. You can check it out. And then the green one is about half, and the blue one is less than half. Uh, but verify all that. I'm just uh, showing you how how to install them too. And I use this. This is the Swiss Army knife. I love these things. I haven't found anything better. And I believe this is the Huntsman. And you want to have a punch. And what I do is I just punch right at the top. You know, lay the hose out and then punch right in the top. You don't have to go in too far. And then push that in there. It's got some threads on it. So it, you don't screw it in. You just kind of shove it in and it seems to work fine. Now I'll just demo it here. I'm going to turn it on. This is the manual. And I already... Okay, here it goes. I already checked out the wetting pattern with just one. And it wet an area, gosh, pretty big area, maybe 10 feet across. It takes a while for them to fill up. Now they're filling up, so I spaced them out. And of course, naturally, they, the hose will twist a little bit. You might have to weight it down, you know, turn it straight and then weight it down with a rock or something or a, or a, a, a little wicket thing, a little wire thing. You can secure the hose. So I'm basically going to pretty much wet the whole area in here. And then where there's gaps, you know, I can use the half and the quarters to fill it out. And again, now I'm, a, I'm an avocado fruit tree, and I really never had much luck growing vegetables. I never messed around with them. So this is amateur hour, and I'm just going to put some seeds out and see how it goes. No big deal. Just put a few seeds out, wet this area. And I've got some, some of that material because I hear there are a lot of, uh, you know, rabbits, uh, deer mice. I found a deer mouse. And uh, so, so we'll see how it goes. But that's just a quick overview of the operation. Thank you. Oh, I should add, too, that this is a soaker hose here. And actually, that might be the better way to go, actually, for vegetables, would be to use this soaker hose because the water won't just be spraying around through the air and wetting a large area. <clears throat> with a soaker hose, you'll be able to just irrigate the row, although with a with the wider pattern as they grow, as they get, you know, depending, again, I'm an amateur here, vegetables, but you'll wet a larger area for a longer period of time as the roots expand out uh, they'll they'll use up that water plus spray kind of cools things down there's a, there's that you know if you have some hot weather also to fill in the blanks I I, I just had these here already but you can use emitters these are adjustable emitters from maybe 10 gallons an hour down to almost nothing. You just uh, turn, turn this, turn the cap to restrict or, or open the flow. So, and I've got some of those. They, they were already in there, and I'm just going to leave them there. Maybe add a few of those instead of uh, the, the sprayers. Other thoughts, you know, I haven't done this in a while, but you have to be, you have to have enough pressure here to run, you know, to keep your drip lines working properly. And it's probably a minimum of 20 PSI, 20 to 30 PSI. And you don't want to get too high because you could start popping things off. But 
a minimum of 20 and then it and then remember the more perforations you have oh look at this look at this thing these are beautiful i love these lizards i've always been a lizard guy ah oh, i don't know what that thing is a iguana Sometimes I see a pair of them. Oh, he's he's got his eye on me. I'm trying to get a good picture of him. Oh, there he goes. Looks like he lost his tail. Oh, look. This this is another reason I kind of wanted to put water out, as I want to attract wildlife. Look at that. He's just going for that water on the leaf. I mean, this is going to be watering every day is going to really help out some of these animals, and I'm pleased to do that. Very happy to do that. Anyway, back to the irrigation. There's so many different ways of approaching this. I showed you the punch. I showed you the punch here. And I've actually just punched a hole in a hose. Not too big a hole. And sometimes that just serves as a as an emitter. You can't put in too many or, or again... If you don't have an adequate water supply or if your drip lines are too long, the water won't reach the end of the drip line. Another thing is you could simply put in a, a sprinkler or two, a big one, a rainbird, a big sprinkler and just wet the whole thing. But that could, you know, that could be wasteful. And when you're wetting outside the zone, you would, uh, you know, you would promote growth of undesirable weeds and so on. So there's a lot to learn and remember and trial and error here. Uh, you can see my sprinklers are, since I put in more emitters, the sprinklers have have dropped in their output. Boy, I'm sure happy about these lizards getting a drink. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>